The Grassini rider Mark Marquez took the first step towards ending a 1,000-day MotoGP dry spell by rushing to first place in practice for the Grand Premio GoPro de Aragon and shaved over two-tenths of a second from the all-time lap record at Motorland Aragon. The slick condition of the new asphalt improved for practice and in the wake of fresh milestones for both Moto3 and Moto2 in their respective sessions on Friday. The surface was warmer and laden with more Pirelli rubber and the MotoGP field marked the difference compared to tentative times set in the morning. Marquez led the pack for most of the chrono and set his Motorland landmark on his 23rd lap of 24. The Catalan has not won a Grand Prix since the 2021 season in Misano and will now head directly into Q2 optimistic of his first pole position since the opening fixture of 2023 in Portugal. Alex Aspargaro took the factory Aprilia from the bottom of the classification in FP1 to second place with an effort only 400s from world champion Peco Bagnea's 2022 record. He fronted teammate Maverick Vinales who was fastest in every single sector apart from the long, looping left-handed turn 16, where Marquez had the upper hand on the GP23. This Saturday in Aragon, Honda will compete in the second qualifying for the first time in a MotoGP Grand Prix this season, regardless of what happens in tomorrow's qualifying session at Motorland Aragon. This achievement is all thanks to Johan Zarco. The French rider from LCR Honda became the first to take a Honda RC213V to Q2 in 2024, having posted the eighth fastest time in Friday's practice session, automatically securing a spot in the top 12 for qualifying. Zarco had also recorded Honda's best qualifying results earlier this year, finishing 13th at both the Qatar and Spanish GPs narrowly missing out on Q2 by advancing through Q1. In his best lap this afternoon, Zarco clocked a time of 1 minute 46.732 seconds, placing him 0.931 seconds behind the session leader, Marc Marquez. The second best Honda rider was Luca Marini in 17th place while Joan Mir and Takaaki Nakagami finished in the last two positions. This result from Zarco is a glimmer of hope for the Japanese manufacturer, though it is clear that there is still much work to be done. 